I think it helps. I mean, I think everyone's different. Some people may be capable of going straight in and, and being a top coach straight away. You know, that's fantastic. But I certainly felt as though that's what that's the way I wanted to do it. I wanted to almost learn and be an apprentice again and learn the ropes properly. And, and so that when I do get an opportunity, I'm at least um, able or I feel confident enough to do it. So I remember taking my first under 14 session. It was um, like a Tuesday night um, down at Moor Farm. You know, I'd, I'd planned my session all day. You know, I'd literally, I've got, you know, 16 players. I've got 10 balls. I've got all this equipment. And I turned up, I can remember, and it was really windy, really windy. Um, and I had hardly any equipment. I had like three balls or something because someone had lost some balls in the games at the weekend. And I turned up, I had three balls. So literally, I'm, I, you know, I saw, so I got my first really good lesson of you always have to plan for the unexpected. You always got to plan for... Uh, what happens if your session goes wrong? So I'd do that a lot in the early days. I'd start to look at, okay, what could go wrong with this session? And I think that was a key aspect of being able to react to things that happen within this. Because you've got to be flexible, haven't you? No session goes exactly how you write it down on paper. So that gave me an opportunity to do that. Uh, and also the enthusiasm of those players. I mean, I'd take the under 10s sometimes. I'd take the under 11s, 12s. And some of those were the most enjoyable sessions I've ever had, you know, because, of course... Later on, you start getting a few cynical first-team players. It's, those 11-year-olds just want to hang on every word and just love the game. And it was quite nice to have both aspects, really.